Hey man, it's me, Kevin Smith. Welcome to the Grow Tent, everybody. You have found the best cannabis growing channel on YouTube, man. The place where we simplify the approach for you so everyone can learn how to grow. We make it so simple, even I can understand. So I'm going to listen and learn right now. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Grow Tent. We got a great episode for you today, so you might want to make sure you stick around. Guys, first, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, watch the full video. It helps out the channel a ton. It takes like two seconds. Well, not to watch the full video part. Uh, another thing, if you want to hang out with me more, get one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultations with me, uh, as you know, we grow some pretty, uh, pretty amazing frosty plants with gigantic colas. And we do it every single time, no matter what the genetics are. Uh, and you can do it too. It's really easy to follow along. Uh, you can hang out with us more at WTTGT. Uh, I'm sure you can figure out how to get there. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, guys, the entire month, this is not a, you're not mishearing this, the entire month of February, we are, I'm going to try something we've never done before. I'm going to try to drop new content or go live. It'll be a lot of live streams every single day for the entire month of February for our collab coming up that's going to be dropping with Dark Horse. Uh, that is Ragnarok, and uh, the artwork I have done for it is off the charts amazing, and I can't wait for you guys to see it. If you're in the, uh, the membership page at WTTGT, you've already seen it. Uh, so you don't want to miss out because uh, there's a lot of cool benefits that come with memberships. All right, anyway, so let's get today's episode going. I appreciate all you guys. Thanks to all the new subscribers. I love seeing all the new people joining up. And thanks again to all the uh, old subscribers, the ones that have been with me for going on almost a decade now of making videos. Appreciate it. All right, let's get today's episode going. Enough, 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 enough of the intro. GT, how do I know the correct PPMs to give my plant? And uh, that's a great question. And... I wish there was a black and white answer. We can get you pretty close, but it's going to vary depending on the size of your plant. So obviously if I have a plant that is this size, oh, see like my phone case, got a little bird on there. Uh, if you have a plant that's this size, it's going to take a lot less PPM than a plant that is this size. And it's just biology, you know, it's just, you know, biology. If a plant that's something smaller, it doesn't need to eat as much as something that's bigger. I like to use the reference to like a buffet. If I go to a buffet and and eat, I'm going to eat more food than my 10 year old daughter than she is going to eat. Get it? So it's just it's a it's just it's a matter of size. So whenever you're looking at a plant, uh, generally you don't really have to feed them too much when they're seedlings. Just like three milliliters or 100 ppm, it's plenty at once once a week. That's all they really need. Or you can just put them in pre emitted soil and you don't have to give them anything. You can do the same thing whenever they're in veg. Uh, generally, I do not feed my plants uh, anytime they're in a media base, like a pre amended grow. I don't feed them at all. I just transplant them into fresh soil every three weeks and I don't have to worry about feeding at all. But generally, for a smaller size plant, like if you're, let's say you're not, let's say you're in cocoa or you're in a, uh, a non pre amended media, 300 ish ppms. Is, is all you would want to feed and you're only feeding you know feed water water feed schedule since you're a non pre amended uh, so I would do a feeding then I would water just water and like cow mag and water and cow mag and then feeding again so every watering will have the cow mag in it and then you have your feedings there on the end but whenever they're little like that dude like 300 ppm feedings is plenty for a small size plant now if you're towards the end of veg or the beginning of the flower, you've got a nice medium-ish size plant. I'm usually around the five to 600 PPM mark is where you're gonna find me. Uh, I, that's just food. I don't count the cow mag or the mag sulfur depending on what part of the grow I'm at. I don't count that towards my PPMs. I'm only counting the MPK of the PPMs is all I wanna know because that's the food, not the supplements. Cow mag, mag sulfur, those are the supplements. So I'm right around five to 600 PPM mark. Uh, I kind of play it by ear depending on the size of the plant. A little bit bigger, I'll go up towards the 600, and yeah, maybe 650 mark. If I'm towards the smaller side of that, I'm around the 500 ppm mark. But that won't ever steer wrong. Remember, it's way easier to uh, fix not giving it enough than it is to fix you gave it too much. Uh, so, and then by the time I'm a big, bigger size plant, you guys have all seen my gardens big plants, big colas, everything like that. I'm generally only still around like the 700, 800 PPM mark on my really, really big plants. Now, if we're talking 
if let's say I've been silly and I've decided to take one of my giant mothers into flower. And whenever I say my giant mothers, I had two plants that filled out an entire four by eight. It's pictured, well, I, I used to be able to say those pictures on Instagram, but that Instagram got deleted. <laughs> so I don't have pictures anymore, but it was pictures of me standing in front of a, a you know, seven foot four by eight, uh, standing in front of it like this. So as you can tell, it's no trick photography and it's just two plants in seven gallon, in seven gallon pots each and just giant colas filling the whole the entire four by eight with only two plants and uh, those plants right there I had to give them around 1700 ppm per feeding but you have to remember the size of those plants the size of the colas they were having to try to keep up with and uh, I went through quite a bit of nutrients trying to keep up it's one of the reasons we don't flower mother plants but my uh, Patreon at the time, they were like, please, please flower the mother plants. And uh, I regretted it every day because I had to constantly feed, take care of it, water it. It was rather ridiculous trying to keep up with them. And, uh, but it was, it was great and we did it and we used to have pictures of it, but now they're gone. <laughs> because Instagram's a bunch of jerks <laughs> and deleted my, my account. But what are you going to do? All right, guys, I hope you guys all hang out and uh, join us during the month of February. I look forward to seeing all of you guys. Uh, we should have a lot of fun, and uh, I've never tried to do anything like that before, so I'm, I'm interested to see how it will go um, trying to go live, every because I do have a pretty hectic schedule, so trying to go live or drop content every day is going to be an extremely big challenge, but I thought a collaboration with Dark Horse would be completely worth it to try to do something over the top and off the wall and something like that. So I hope you guys all come out, hang out with me, even if you don't, uh, you know, maybe just still watch the you know the weekend video drops so thanks for guys i'll see you guys next time gt